Hey guys, PG here for Intense Computing, and today I'm going to be doing a video about uh, how to set up a server for Urban Terror. Not that many people play Urban Terror, um, but if you do, you know, it's always good to know how to set up your own server and uh, be able to make your own clan and things along those lines. Okay, so I'm going to be talking fairly quick to uh, try to get this um, video done, um, but here we go. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go into Start, go into Computer. Go into local disk C, go into program files, scroll down to urban terror, and go into the Q3UT4 folder, open that up, and you need to go into the server folder, right click on it, and then click open, and it's going to give you, uh, or click on open with, and it'll give you an option to open with WordPad. You want to make sure you open with WordPad. Oh, so there, I'll show you guys. Open with and just um, it'll be under other programs and you just want to click wordpad but I'm just gonna open it with in the recommended programs click OK okay and here it is okay so for this guys um, I'm just gonna go through a couple things the most important things okay so the admin name is gonna be your name in the quotes your email is gonna be the email your email of course in quotes um, the host name is going to be um, the name of your uh, server. Um, so I put de fun house, okay. And then um, for this, uh, this is the message of the day. Um, it will be displayed while you're connecting. Okay, so I'll put de um, de server dash have fun. Okay, and then also the SV join message right here um, is going to. I, I just put welcome to the DE server. Um, and then for the general game settings, you know, not too much here. You can edit that yourself. It's not really important. Let me point something out. Um, while, when you're in here, to find out what this stands for, the SV Max clients or any of these, the G Max game clients any of those uh, right here where it says slash slash and then after the slash slash it actually tells you what what it does uh, so so um, it's pretty self-explanatory now for the passwords guys for the password section um the our common password of course is right here so I just set mine to blah blah um, and then the private password um, is for if you don't want people getting into your uh, your game um, now, uh, the match mode. Okay, so for match mode, um, you just have a few things here. Um, let's see what else. Okay, when we scroll down to where is it here? Master servers. Okay, there will be a a bunch of server lists in the description uh, over to my right. Um, and you will be able to copy and paste those. You want to kind of just delete these and actually paste those into here. Not all of them, maybe just like three or four of them, four or five of them, doesn't matter. Um, but the more the better. Um, and then just click save. You can exit out. Okay, now we need to go into your internet browser. Now once you're in your internet browser, you want to go to your router configuration settings. So mine happens to be 192.168.1.1. Okay, and just click enter. And as for password, mine, I don't have an actual, I didn't change it, so mine's just admin, admin, and I'll just click login. You can look that uh, information up if, if it's not letting you in. Uh, I know that for Verizon routers it's like a little bit different so just look up the information on Google uh, okay so then you want to go into applications and gaming it might also be under port forwarding or something along those lines and then for the application you want to make it say urban terror or even quake 2 or 3 um, and then the start is gonna start at 27960 and it's gonna end at 27960 and the protocol is going to be uh, not just TCP, not just UDP, but both. 
and then IP address is going to be your IP address uh, your local IP address you can get your local IP address by going into CMD and then going typing in IP config and then it gives you it right here okay so this one is uh, dot 102 okay and I'm just gonna leave it as that because that's how that's what my server is set up on click Save settings and then click continue okay you're done with that now you can exit out okay now make sure you're back in the Q3 UT4 folder and then go back and go to the I O U R T D E D um, that's a little application here in your urban terror folder just double click it a little command prompt looking thing will come up and the last script that it should say is uh, 192.168.1.102 then what you want to type in actually is exe which is execute space server dot cfg now server dot cfg that actually stands for the name of the server uh, file that you actually edited uh, not like a little bit ago and EXEC stands for execute but you just want to put EXEC um, and then just click enter and should go through some stuff and you're done that's it guys it will be in the urban terror list um, I'm not gonna show you but um, if you have any problems questions anything like that feel free to leave a comment to this video uh, message me on YouTube or even email us at intense computing help at gmail.com Okay guys, that's it and thanks for watching.